financial spread betting and CND trading. What is the difference between them? At first glance the similarities between CND trading and financial spread betting are perhaps more obvious than the differences. Indeed, they both use similar terminology and both offer an extensive range of markets to choose from. However, it's important that you understand the differences between the two before making the decision. Financial spread betting and CND trading. Key similarities. They are both margin products, allowing you to benefit from increased leverage. That is, you pay a small initial deposit margin and it allows you to take a larger position than you would be able to in say traditional shares trading. With both financial spread betting and CND trading it is easy for you to take advantage of rising or falling markets. In both you can choose to buy go long at the offer price, or, and this is an advantage over traditional shares trading, you can sell at the bid price go short. Effectively, because you don't physically own the underlying asset you have the flexibility and freedom to back your judgment as to where you think the market will move. Both CND and financial spread betting providers offer a range of risk management tools including stop and limit orders, trailing stops and guaranteed stops. In both you pay no stamp duty, as you don't physically own the underlying asset. For instance, with shares, no physical exchange of shares takes place. Financial spread betting. When you spread bet you decide which way you think a financial instrument in the market will move. For example, you would buy if you think, say, the share price of Barclays will go up and sell if you think it's likely to fall. Each bet you make will be a certain amount of money per point. Generally the minimum bet size is one pound. The degree to which you are correct dictates how much you win or lose. While there is no stamp duty, capital gains tax, or broker's fees to pay you will have to pay the dealing spread levied by the provider. But remember, tax law is subject to change and can differ depending on your circumstances. CND Trading As in financial spread betting, CND trading allows you to back your judgment as to whether you think a financial instrument will go up or down in value. The key difference here is that instead of betting pounds per point you actually buy or sell each contract, which are the contracts for difference or CFDs. A contract for difference is an agreement to exchange the difference in value of a financial instrument between the time at which it is opened and the time at which it is closed. Your profit or loss is determined by the difference between the price you buy at to the price you sell at, multiplied by the amount of contracts you hold of course. While there is no stamp duty or broker's fees to pay, you will have to pay a commission which is calculated as a percentage of the value of the transaction. With CND trading it is possible to benefit from direct market access which means any contracts you open will go directly to the stock exchange and will be at the underlying market price. Conclusion The recent report by research organization Investment Trends points out that there are 83,000 people in the UK with a financial spread betting account against 18,000 people with CND accounts. Most providers offer education and guidance which will further help you choose between the two it is always important to know that financial spread betting and trading CFDs can result in losses that exceed your initial deposit. So please make sure you fully understand the risks involved.